Hi guys, it's Michael here from the Tech Guy Reviews. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a great program called Fourscore. This program should be a part of any musician's equipment to bring to a gig. Gone are the days of having to carry these heavy binders. Fourscore, it makes it super easy. Today, we'll be talking about how to add a PDF to Fourscore, how to categorize the PDF, and how to arrange it into a set list. So, let's check it out. So for the purposes of this video, we'll be using Fourscore for the Mac. I find Fourscore for the Mac to be pretty easy to use and very similar to the iPad and the iPhone version. The nice part about it is that you can literally drag and drop like you can any other program. So for the purposes of this video, what we're going to do is we're going to import these two jazz songs into my Fourscore library. So since this is going to be a new book or a new library, we're going to go into the library function here by clicking on it and we're going to click the plus icon, and we're gonna give it a name. So in this case, we're gonna call it YouTube. And so at that point, it's now created my YouTube library. You can click on it, and now everything for this particular library will be found here. So how do we add the songs to the library? All you have to do is select the songs that you have, in this case that I have on my desktop, and we're gonna drag and drop them until we have the plus icon, and it imports it, that easy. Now, let's say that you want to categorize this because no composers doesn't help, especially when you have multiple different types or multiple different types of songs. So there's multiple ways that you could categorize this. You could categorize this by composers, genres, tags, labels. It's totally up to you how you want to have it categorized. Now, when I first started using Fourscore, there really wasn't as many options to choose from, so we used composers. For the purposes of this video, we'll continue to use composers, but you can use any of these other possibilities. So if we go into No Composers, we'll see the two songs that we just added. In this case, you're going to click on Edit, select the songs that you want, and you're going to click Edit again. At this point, you can add however you want to have it categorized. You can categorize it again by composers, genres, tags, or labels. So all we're going to do is we're going to put this called YouTube. And just so that everyone can see, we can also put into genres, tags, and labels. Again, it's up to you how you want to categorize it, but this is just some of the ways you can do it. Make sure you have the plus on the parts that you've changed, and you're going to click this button to go back. As you can see, now it's organized my YouTube library into the YouTube composers. Same thing with genres, tags, and labels. So you may say to yourself, how do I put this into a set list? Because when you go to a gig, the best part about having a digital is the fact that, well, it can be in a, a complete order. Well, that's really easy. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this button here, the three lines. At this point, you'll get the set list pop-up. You're gonna hit the plus button and you're gonna call it your set list. So maybe you wanna call it December 22nd gig. Click create. At this point, you're gonna click the plus button again and now you can see your entire library. Because the library is not that big, we just have the two songs. So we're gonna select the, so the two songs that we want, and you can organize this into whatever order that you want. If you want Blue Bossa first, or if you want L-O-V-E first, you can move it around. Then click Done. Now, when you're at the gig, all you do is you start the first song or whatever song you want at the top, and when you're going through the song, whether you're swiping with your iPad or you're using your Mac, the next song automatically appears. All right, so we finished our video. At this point in time, you should know how to create a new library, how to add PDFs to that library, how to categorize your PDFs, and how to create a set list. If this video was helpful for you and you'd like more, I'd ask you to please subscribe. But also, if you have any questions or if you'd like me to go over something else, please type in the comments below of anything you'd like me to look at. All right, until the next time, take care.